Um, okay, should you have to verbally warn somebody to get off your property before shooting them during a home invasion? Or is it mild to shoot them without, with no warning? What about on the street if you have a CCL? I don't know what a CCL is. Maybe you can tell me what a CCL is. Uh, I mean, it depends on the context. So if there is a chance that the purpose that somebody is coming to your property by accident, I don't know, middle of the night and the door was unlocked and they walked in, but if they broken in, if they broken it, no, I don't think, I don't think you, um, you need a warn. If somebody's broken in, if somebody's smashed a window, you don't have to find out if they're carrying a gun. You don't have to find out if they have peaceful intentions. You don't have to find out if they just wanted to rob you, if they wanted to rape your children as well. You shoot them and ask questions later. So a home invasion where somebody has broken in and it's unquestioned, then. Now, if somebody is walking along across your lawn, you, you can't shoot them. I mean, you, you, sh you have to warn them first. Again, it's context, right? They haven't done anything violent like breaking a window or, you know, breaking a lock or, 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 or breaking in in some way. They haven't broken anything. They're just walking along or, 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 they're, or even if there's a fence, you know, a lot of times children will do a shortcut and they'll go through a fence yard. You're not going to shoot anybody and they're not risk. Your, your life is not at risk. That is the reason if it's a home invasion, you should shoot, shoot first, is your life is at risk. Bodily harm is, there's a, there's a real reason for, uh, to assume bodily harm. Uh, okay, so what about on the street if you have a concealed weapons? I mean, yeah, if you have a concealed carry license, then you should only shoot somebody if your life or somebody else's life is in danger. That is, if they're running at you with a knife, or they're pointing a gun at you, or they're drawing a gun at you, or, or, or they've just shot somebody else, or, or, they're, or they're threatening somebody else. So there has to be a credible threat to your life. That's the standard by which, now I think breaking into your house is a credible threat to your life. I don't think somebody walking across your lawn is a credible threat to your life. I don't think somebody yelling at you is a credible threat to your life. I don't think somebody even, you know, swearing at you, they'd have to threaten in a way that was credible. And I still think that if you can walk away, that should always be the right option. Walk away and call the police. Even if you have a concealed weapon, walk away and call the police. The last thing you want to do is actually shoot somebody. And one of the things you discover when you try and shoot somebody is even though on the, in the uh, shooting range you're a, you're a great shot, when you actually have a human being in front of you, you might miss. And if you miss, and they're a real bad guy, they're not going to miss. They're going to get you. So the best policy in confronted with somebody on the street, you know, given that they're not pointing a gun at you or they're not running at you with a knife, but this, if there's a way to walk away, then walk away, walk away, right? That should be option number one is always run. Unless you're fully trained and you know exactly what you're doing and, you're, and you're, you're, you know that you've got the upper hand, your life is too valuable to, to make a stand for the sake of some false pride, some false concept of pride. 